In this video, we're going to finalize our conversion of our React application to be using Redux. This is going to be super simple, and it's more in the vein of reinforcing what we've already learned. So if you remember in our application we set and when we added stuff to our to-do list we used a kind of an internal state and start of our component of our add to-do. In this case we want to add that to Redux and let Redux manage our state. And it's going to be real simple. We create our action creators. We'll map our state and our action creators to our props to be passed through. And then we'll create a reducer to be able to do stuff on state as it runs through the system. So with that in mind, jump into our index.js file and go ahead and start creating our two new action creators. First one's going to be new to do and we're going to pass in the text of a to do. And we're just going to return a JavaScript object with the type of new to do and the text of to do. Then we're going to create another action creator of remove to do. And note it's remove to do instead of remove to do's. This is going to be a singular to do for our add to do component. And as you can see, it's just returning the remove to do. We want to map a single to do to our state. So we're going to do map state to props and we're going to add to do and we're returning state dot to do. And then we're going to add our new action creators to our dispatch and the map dispatch to prop. So do new to do and remove to do as well. So now those components are done and we have our action creators and ready for our action creators to do stuff. So with that, let's jump down to our add to do component. We no longer need the get initial state, so we can just delete that. Now that we're acting on state being in Redux, we need to change this this.state.to do to be this.props.todo. And it's going to map to state of to do in our props that were attached to it. We want to continue removing the text from our text box, and we did that with our set state with a blank to do. Now we just do this.props.remove to do to call that action creator earlier. We also want to handle the change event that our form calls, so we're just going to change this to this.props.new to do, and we'll remove the to do object wrapping around the event.target.value. So this just calls our action creator of new to do and passes in the new value that we want to use with that string of text. And then finally we remove we change the value from this.state.todo to to this.props.todo since we mapped again the to do state to our prop. So we're done with modifying the component and now we want to create a new reducer for our new elements. So we'll jump back up to where our root reducer is and we'll create a to do initial state, set it to an empty string, do a to do, set our reducer function of to do, state equals to do initial state, and we pass in our actions. Let's go ahead and add our ifs so that we can select the appropriate type of our action creators. And if there's nothing, we'll just return state as it is. If there is a new to do, then we're just going to return action.to do, which is the string that we have available. It's going to be added to the to do item in state. And then if we have removed to do, then we're just going to return an empty string altogether so that it blanks it out and we don't have to worry about text in our state of to do anymore. It looks like we added the to do function to the wrong section because we need to add it to our root reducer, so we'll move it up and then add to do to our root reducer since it's a new reducer. And then finally we'll add to do to our default state as an empty string. And that's it. So we've effectively taken, we've added our new action creators. We've called the appropriate action creators from our add to do component. And then we've set up the initial state and root reducers and default state so that we can do the appropriate things to our state accordingly. We'll open this up in our browser, refresh the page. We have our to-do application. We add a to-do, add to-do, and we add a couple more, just goofing around. And there we go, we have four to-dos. Hit remove all to-dos and it removes our state. And our application is now completely working with React and Redux. And it's not using anything internal and we're uh, one step closer. Please join us in the next video where we convert our application over to using Django so that we can then take the next couple of steps that we need to take to be able to use it with Django REST framework and have everything work accordingly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.